Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the average if function. So what I've got in this yellow cell over here is a list of names. When I select a name from this list, it tells me what their average sales is. And you can see also whoever I select is being highlighted green in this case. Select somebody else, you can see that working each time it's going to do the average. So that's what I want to recreate, show you how I've done this. And I'm just going to do the list first. So to do the list, it's the validity tool that you need. And that is on the data tab over on the right there. Click on that and you can select a list, the cell range, but you can also type your own list if it's not too long. That's what I want to do. So I'm clicking in there. I'm just going to add these people. So you've got Ben, press enter, Bill, enter, Bob, enter, and Anne. That's who I want to be in my list. Click OK to that. Check that that's done it. There's my list. I'll just color it up so we can see it. Go back to home. Pick a different color. I'll go orange. So I'll select somebody like so now i need a, a little table here so what i'll do is i'll just um no i won't i'll just type them out i'll do a little different a different set of people bob bill ben and Ann. i'll just highlight those just double pull them down a couple of times then give them some figures Two 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 three 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 all the way down like that. Just make that into money. Over here, a little pile of coins puts it into pounds. Now, when I select somebody from this list, what I want this to do is color up that. So, what you have to do is highlight all of this table. Go to conditional formatting, go to manage, add, and then there's the default. You want this to be set to a formula option. And then you put in the formula in there. You're clicking on this top left hand cell that you've got highlighted. It puts dollar signs around it, but you need to get the dollar sign off the row number. So it's just on the column. And then equals that, and then you're picking your color. So I'll go for good again, which will be green. You click OK, you click OK, and then whatever you've got selected there will change color like so. Now, to do the average if, so when I select Bob, I want these figures, I want the average of it. So at the moment, that should be. What it says down here, look. Now I'm going to type it next to it. So I'll go equals average if, then open the bracket. Now it's wanting the range. So this is the people. I'm highlighting that. Doing a comma, then it wants the criteria. So I've got the little list in that orange cell, comma, and then you need to highlight the figures that you want it to average. So it's only going to average these up based on that criteria. Close that down, click the tick or press enter, and you get 96, which is the same as that down there. If I just click on these green cells again, just to check that, 96, so that's correct. Pick somebody else, and 77 average sales for her over the period or whatever, you, whatever the time period you're using, that's 77 average. So that's all I want to talk about in this little short video, how you can use the average if function using a validation list and getting conditional formatting to color things up for you. So hopefully that's of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.